know you wanted to do music? Um, I'd always sung, I think. And I always, I guess, there's always like a feeling like late at night, you know, like, oh, I'm not doing what I'm supposed to be doing, you know, I'm missing my chance to do something. <laughs> I always wanted to, I just didn't quite know how to go about it. Happiness hit her like a train on a track. Yeah, drunk in a toilet. Um, we were talking about boys or something, like just chancing it. Just like, yeah, I'm a singer. So I used to pretend I had a band before I even had a band. I said, oh yeah, I've got a band. I just had the name and like a couple of songs, but no actual band. And so when I met her, I was like, yeah, 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 I've got a band, because I knew she ran club nights, so I was like really chancing it. And um, so she asked me, and then, you know, and then she asked me to play at a Christmas party, and I kind of had to go and rehearse with a friend of mine and like create, you know, music for these songs I had. But we literally did that like an hour before the game. list of nominations and awards in England and that's... I haven't seen that. It's very long. Oh, no, it's good to know. <laughs> I don't really look at that stuff. I find it too weird. You're a little quirky. Seems like they're more open to that in England. Mm. They embrace quirk a little bit more than they do here. Have you yeah, I think that? like and especially like America so much about radio and I've never really written songs in order for them to be radio friendly. I think here, in order to understand the album, you really have to come see it live. You know, and in England you have a real tradition of, you know, like the English eccentric. When you play live, it seems like it would be hard to take those songs that are so personal to you and bring them to other people. But you've also had a lot of practice, it sounds like. There's a Zadie Smith quote, I think, that says, like, soul is taking pain, turning it into something beautiful. And I think that's kind of an interesting thing, you know, to, to take something dark and kind of pain, painful and make it into something people enjoy. You've always got such great presence and clothing too. Great outfit. Thank you very much. Dress like a sort of psychotic librarian. <laughs> fits my mood. Psychotic librarian is your mood? Guilty choir girl, psychotic librarian. Where do you get that dark side from? I'm not naturally like. I'm really shy away from conflict. So maybe that's why my songs, some of them are quite aggressive. Since you went to, to art school, I mm. picture you like in, in elementary school being the girl in the corner who's like angrily I was always drawing. in the library, actually. Like, if I, when I was in school, I was just always hiding in the library, like skiving off my lessons, but in the library. Like not, not doing anything cool, just like reading. The, the shy, nerdy girl to become the big <laughs> oh, no, pop star. I was really, I wonder what the people at my school think of it. I, I was pretty weird at school. I mean, yeah, I kind of was always an odd kid. Well, now you can go back and show them. Weirdos will inherit the earth. <laughs>